This is my old machine, the 568. Is this going to be any different than a 1508? Uh, it's the same no, hook. Same hook. Okay. I'm sorry, you still have a mechanical opener, which you can turn on here. Yes. Yeah. So now the machine. Okay. And on this two screw on the gear, okay, one of them has a, a, a the screws like a pointy. On yes. the edge, like a point. This is what we call set screws. In which the shaft, the hook shaft, it looks like this with the groove. So that's why that says screws, the, the way the hook will rotate it. Okay? So now I'm going to take the screw, which should be this one over here. Okay, this is the says screws. And sometimes people, what to do, they, if they change the screw they put on the other one, what to do, they mess it up the time because that groove will be on the other side, so it'll throw you off time. So make sure when you take the screw off, make sure you find the one is on the groove, okay? And leave it open. So now you loosen the other one, okay? Which is still loose. So one's on the groove and one's on the side of the, the shaft. Sash. Exactly, exactly. The flat, the, the curved part Does of the it shaft? matter which, right. which holes and which? Yes, it does. Okay. Yes. The one, like I said, before you take, you know, before you take this both screw off, make sure you find the one with the, with with the, the groove in there. Oh, just keep track of which one, exactly. which, hole which hole is on the flat. Right. So and which set screw has the, the point. Screw has a, yeah, the the point. point. And the point goes on where? The flat? No, no. no. The, with the, where the slot the hollow. is. Oh, in the, the hollow. slot here. The, slot. the point goes in the hollow. Yes, okay. because that way we'll that's the one, up. that's the one you All want right. to take out completely. Exactly. Got it, got it. It's going to be like a flatter. So the other one you lose, okay. Another one. And also, very important, if it, when you change the, when you pull the hook out, make sure this gear doesn't move. Because if you do that, if the gear moves or you drop the gear, you're going to have a hell of a time didn't, to put it back together. If you, didn't you tell me at one time that if you have a, a spare hook, you can chase one through with the other? That's why, that's why yeah. I, just, I just told, I just told the guys there, yeah. okay, so what I do, that's why I have another spare hook. Yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. cool. So what do you Thanks, do? Buddy. You do this, okay. So you pull the other one in. So I have that one to follow quick. But well, you're now, not going to stitch very well like that. No, that's all right. <laughs> but now the gear stays the same place. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Actually, Mark, this is how you change over the bottom feet. Oh, right, or, right, right. Or if you don't have an extra hook, or if you don't have an extra hook, some si sometimes you find like a, even a pen. Yes, uh, sure. The same size screwdriver. Sure. The screwdriver, uh, well, some kind of screwdriver is a flat on the bar, on the top, yeah. you won't be able to fit, but something around, like a pen okay. something. Okay. That way you can put it in here, okay, that way the gear won't move, it stays in the same place. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. So, there you go. <laughs> so, so, what are these set screws doing? This and this? Okay, this is for the bushing. Okay. Right here. This two, you know, one is for the push. bushing and the other's for the gear? No, no, the other one's also on the list, not the bushing. It's top and bottom bushing, which I'll okay. show you. Okay. Short the bushing. Okay. Watch this. This is where the bush is. I see it. You see the brass bushing? Yes. Okay, this is to keep tight. You can make it lower or higher. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? Why yes. would you want to raise the height on that? Why? Because sometime, uh, sometime the linkage, you know, sometime the, 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 the brass bushing, it wears out. Yes, so when it wears yeah. out, this one over here sits lower, lower, lower. Got you. Oh, okay. Right. So when it fits lower, you know, when it fits lower, this little thing here, okay? Yes. If, if, this one, if it's too low, this one, every time oh, you turn, it, yeah. it will slip. Uh, yep. It won't stay in place. That makes sense. <laughs> right? So, so that's like, the bushing that's Just that brass there. bushing. So if it needs to loosen the screw, with the hammer, okay. That doesn't come with a hook, though, right? Huh? That doesn't come no. with a hook. Well, you need to use a hammer. It's always the hammer. Yeah, a hammer with the brass, with the brass, uh, 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 how do you call it, pin. Yes. Not a pin, I mean. The yeah. Yeah. You yeah, mean a five-pound sledge and a screwdriver. Uh, that's what Freddie right. uses. <laughs> that's, that's what he uses. That's what we use at our shop. Uh, you know? The first and, uh, <laughs> okay, this is the linkage, the one that makes the mechanical opener go back and forth. Okay. Every time you rotate, the hook is rotating. 
That's why they mix the, the mechanical opener. And, and that it. fits over that post. Yes. Okay. Yeah, this one is a centric. Okay, which you can see it. I see it. Okay. So every time the hook it moves, it makes the mechanical opener go back and forth. Got it. I see it. Okay. Yep. Now where does that go in position? Is it a loop well, over that? Well, somebody put a red, red, uh, um, match mark over here, whatever, red dot. Okay. So they know with oil. Okay. But really, you know, if you know, you don't need to put it back. Oh, okay. So, and make sure you put this one here first before you put the new hook in, okay? Right now, I have the other hook too far. And I'm pushing Sorry, it. put my hand underneath there to catch it. Oh. Let me see now if it comes out. <laughs> okay. Ah. So, right now, I pull the other one in, okay, you push the other one out. So the gear they always stay there, didn't move. Sometimes what you do need to do this right now, you gotta rotate the hook. Make sure the hook goes all the way down because the linkage right now it isn't set, so you might need to move this, okay, or rotate the hook. How do you get it down? Yeah. Oh, there so it the is. hook goes all the way down and you hear the click. Always. Now that little cam that was underneath hooks over that. The like, you, you mean the that where the red and the red go over each other. Right. That's right. Okay, I got it. Yes. yes. So now every time I rotate the hook, oh wow, there it Ouch. goes. I'm not talking about the needle, right? Oh. Anyone got some super glue? Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> so you know every time the you know hook rotator, see how the mechanical opening moves? Yes. The back and yeah. forth. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're fine. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So now we've got to find, because right now the timing, okay, right now the timing is off. And of course, the, the groove, if that groove on the hook, you know, the gear is a set of So right now, if you see it, the point the hook is coming up, I mean, it's going in, and the needle is going down. Okay, and there's, you know, and it's supposed to go the other way. It's supposed to go when the needle goes up, you know, where to go up, the point is supposed to go pick up the thread. But anyway, let's go back on the, <laughs> on the hook over here. Okay, right now, over here, we're supposed to show you where the groove it is. So you might need to rotate it, rotate it, which, I don't know if you see it, right? So when so you get to the flat, right? How about before you put the new shaft in, uh, in, this, in the groove part of the shaft, put a little white dot, then you can it right. Away. It won't. It won't stay. Awesome. No matter what you put over there, it won't stay because actually, you know, because when you put the hook in, okay, the bushing, it takes whatever you put there, paint or or, or fingernail polish. Some people they use fingernail polish or paint. It's recessed. It, I come on. I mean, actually, believe it or not, when you yeah. see that groove, okay, you can't make a mistake. Yeah. That's once you see the groove, you know that's that's where the set screw goes on there. Then you tie that. But and you have to tie that flat the spot time, to the you see right. Now, you know, now when the needle goes up, the hook is right there. Yeah, when the needle goes up, you see the needle goes up, and the point is supposed to get the thread. You see you know, the needle yep. goes up the same right. time? Yeah, yep. it is. Okay. Uh, yep. And sometimes when we have a no Oh, hook, come on, clear up. The point, the hook is longer. Of course, it's very low. Oh. Sometimes we require, if it's too close to the needle, they might need to push the hook saddle back a little bit. Or, or, we have over here, we call the needle guy. So over here, every time, you know, the hook goes around, the hook, you know, the hook uh, uh, guy, you know, needle guy, it needs to be pushed push down. Push that way it can push the needle away. Because otherwise, the point of the hook can be hit it and damage the point of the hook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I know you have uh, your little camera. There's a camera or recording? Oh, it's recording. Or do both? Yeah, I mean, you're a superstar, Freddie. <laughs> Fabulous Freddie is on video. <laughs> Freddie, I think you want to call and get a sag cut. Yes, I <laughs> so, like uh, you know. So, in terms of setting the timing now, 
Yeah. Is that where you bring it up, like three thirty seconds of an Actually, inch? Yes, it is. And actually, what I usually do before anything else, I bring the the needle all the way, you know, the needle bar all the way down. All right, till the needle. You know, I do it with the, with the wheel over here. I do this. All right, till the needle doesn't go no up, no down. I gotta be at that. The very down, bottom, okay? neutral. And actually, right, neutral. And then you want to see the needle with the last screw on the gib. The last screw on Part the gib. Parallel, it's got to be yeah. parallel. It can't be the screw okay. be here and the needle. So okay. it got to be, in other words, it got to be straight, parallel with the, with the screw there, which I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. The screw here. I know they have a, three of them. One, two, and three. But the one closer to the point, Okay, right. so I need to get it be parallel with that. If it isn't, if it isn't, it means the gear on the bottom it moves, or the move it means somebody tried to pull the hook, and by mistake that gear moved. That's why I said put something under the gear, make yeah, sure it goes back the same way. Yeah. So that's at the very bottom of the needle bar stroke. Yeah. It needs to be lined up with that first with, screw. With the first screw. What's the next step, Freddie? Next step is, like I say, if the gear doesn't move, or I see a lot of people, what they do, they take a both screw out. When they put it back, all right, when they put it back, that's, that says okay. screw, <laughs> it won't, won't line up, because they, they take both screw, you don't know which one, which is which. So then they can put the groove back on, on the last screw, which will be, on the wrong one. On yeah. the wrong one, will be yeah. on this one over here. Oh. Then the uh, you know the thumb is off, complete off. You won't be able to sew. Yeah. You know. So that's why I say all the time, find the one that has the scissors screw, take one at a time, and put it the other one back, and leave the one scissors screw. Is off. the one with the pointed set screw? Is that always going to be on the left? Doesn't necessarily. Sometime. Okay. Sometime. All right, it can be on the right, okay, depends on whatever the people they yes. put the machine together, okay. Next. But that's why I said when, huh? Next. Uh, a few minutes. Couple, couple minutes. Couple minutes. So, so, so that's why you're looking so for the screw. Exactly. So you got to look all the time, that set screw for that, and the gear that hasn't been moved. Pull, pull the first one out, if it's not the groove, put, put it back, back put in. Put it back again. That yes. way, you, you know, if, if you make a mistake, and then you don't know which is which. Yeah. I see a lot of people that bring machine over here because they didn't put the screw in the right spot. Yeah. And they say it doesn't stitch. I try, I did my best. Mm -hmm. But the best wasn't good enough because yeah. they got to <laughs> step at a time. All right, where do we go from here? Okay. Well, Edruf, uh, I mean, I know Sammy told me to let it. But in terms, of setting, in terms of setting the timing on. The timing which we did. Yeah. Uh, uh, needle down, so all that down. The set screw, I mean, the last screw got to be parallel, okay? Right, is that, and now it's time? Nice, it, it, is, it is, because, as it like I said, years. the set screw, you have moved the gear, because we will take only one screw. So you're going to go back the same way in your timing. Oh. The only time, sometimes, if you do break a needle, all right? Say over here, the way I showed your needle, all the way down, and you do parallel with, with the last screw, okay? But for some reason, you break a needle, and the needle bar, it goes up. So now, when you're trying to turn your needle, the needle is above, way, way up. You so say, what happened? So, when you just turned it like that, yes. you brought it up 3 30 seconds three, of an inch, and that seconds. should be going through sure. the center of the scarf. Above, yeah, yeah that's Up right. a little yeah. above, above the center? Above the scarf, right, correct. Yeah. And if how we, about that little bar that you have to bend out? What's the, the, oh, this one over the, here, this one over here is a uh, needle guy. Yes. It's, it's, I don't know if you see it, the needle move every time I do this. Yeah. Okay. Right. But you want, you want the needle to flex a little bit, it makes sure that point the hook doesn't hit the needle because if it does hit the needle it makes a burn so that keeps point. the needle point of the needle from hitting the the, 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 the hook from the hitting the, 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 the needle the, the needle. point of the hook from hitting the needle exactly. yeah. Yeah. yeah so okay you, yeah. you go you go wide close but you, 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 right. you just right. want to hold it just the way that's really great for you. thank you how much different is this is a top how a side side, side which would be a most that's a half 
the only uh, Alexis thing in the, you know, is still better because you can hang you can just the uh, the little guy. On on a lot of on the bottom low, there's heavy little guy. There's more change you break more needle than you break a this machine. Wow. Yeah. But how about to replace that? Replace uh, replace which I can show you.